Hello everyone. Right now, I'm just running across the shop, it will be introduced throughout our projects. So you already noticed, I'm not the one who is talking, you guessed right. I have COPD and breathing heavy almost like Darth Vader, just worst. It sound like Darth Vader mixed with a toothless Russian orc, and it doesn't sounds too cool. Lots of folks would be scared that's not a good way to start a channel. But don't worry I'm going to release the beast soon enough. We are creating lots of cool stuff, furnitures, gates, designer property fences, doors, modern monumental doors, staircases, architectural elements, for high-end dwellings as seen on the pictures. Custom mailbox, custom barbecue, I just only scratched the surface because if I tell you how much crap we made, this video would be 10 days long. We don't have tattoos, I can't say that about our subs, like structural welding guy, or Jose, or my ex girlfriend but all these cuts and bruises been well earned. Hey, we are fabricators, you will see large format CNC milling project up to 60 by 160 inches, or smaller CNC project on small mill 52 by 102 inch table. Once a while we are going to plasma cut parts up to 60 by 120 inches. We are also laser cutting stuff up to 60 by 120 inches. If we screw up the laser cutting we laser weld it and then recut it. Sometimes I got stuck on YouTube watching Mediacore folks making shit. Literally shit. And they have millions views, like the bootlegged blue movie. I can count on my hands how many real good crafters with knowledge running interesting channels, like this old Tony, Stacy David's Gears, Adam Savage, Michael Om, Ron Covell, Dirt Life, Weld.com, The Fabricator, just to name a few. I know, right now, you might say F you a hole. Trying to compare yourself to all those pros. No, I'm not. I'm doing total different shit. One more thing we are not here to teach you crap. We are here to show you how to fuck up expansive material, and yet we still put it on other folks' houses, for a top dollar. Like this door here. Hee hee hee, that was a joke only. Don't worry, be happy and subscribe if you like. No, we are talking about welding. Yes, we can weld. Well, I can weld any type of weldable metal. For lots of customers, we are designing as well. Like this door we are going to introduce in this video. But let's get back to the current project. Laszlo 2 marked up the holes for the doorstop slash weather seal. On the 5 8 inch anodized aluminum door jam. He also drilled the holes for 8 30 seconds inch tap. Now we are heading over to tap the holes. Next operation, we are going to thread this with the threading machine. So it's already set. WD. Bring it over. As you can see we are using an auto tapping machine for more accurate results. It also helps saving the taps, if you do it by hand, such small tap in 5 8 material could break. On the tapping machine touch screen you can choose the tap, depth you need to go, the torque, and retrieval speed. This particular machine is good up to 3 quarters inch taps, you can use as small as 1 16th, also have metric settings. All you have to do is press start and you can let it go. It will cut the tap and retrieve and stop. You can move on to the next hole. Here, here is another door we made. The last one just standing next to it so you can see the sheer size. Chukba! Look at it. It's just... Well here is another door we made. 103 inch wide, 128 inch tall as yet is unfinished. Since the building is still under development, the finish could get ruined so that's the last thing we going to do. Before we dive into the current door project, I would love to show you what kind of Mediocore folks I'm talking about. Now I will show you some short so, video I clips I captured on like projects this. we are working on. Mediocre Joes. This theoretically, it's a respectable company, but the alignment, it's not there. So... 
it's absolutely all over the place, all of them. Well, I changed my mind instead of burning others. Here are some crap we made on this particular project. The nun famous spiral staircase, once this things will be finished, this will be one of main focal point of this house. We going to install the railing starting next week, but before that we are going to install the door which the subject of this video. But hey I wanted to make an introduction, so I'm showing you what can you expect out of this channel. I cannot go back in time to video the old projects, what I can and will do is capture the upcoming project on video and show it to you. But of course it has to worth the while to spend so much time to narrate and edit the videos. What it means we need subscribers like you and lots of it. I'm not going to tell you, if you subscribe you will have luck for 7 years, what I can promise I will show all sorts of cool stuff we fabricate, some of these stuff can be made in a garage with regular hand tools, maybe not as fast as we do but it can be done. Maybe you will break lots of small taps or blades, spend endless nights in the garage to cut that plate or what not. Welcome to copy and use any of our ideas you will see on our videos. Some trade secrets will be kept in dark you have to figure out by yourself. So, now I'm talking. <laughs> so here is the door. Um, this customer of ours, we did a lot of work for him. It's an amazing gentleman. He gave me a picture, a similar door, a looking door made out of steel but it's just one-sided so it's not a double cord in any way and it's also pivot door but in the pivot area which is approximately 18 inches so in this section it's hard to show it on the video when you take and capture it by yourself so anyway that's a run tube running all the way up and down obviously so that's again a media core thing in my eye because we are using a special pivot hinge. Look what it does. So I'm gonna open the door. Bingo. And it stops at 90 degree. This door, by the way, geez, around 1500 pounds, maybe 1800 pounds. So it set us down right by the 90 degree and all I have to do, just push it. Look, look, look. One finger, and it's gonna close slowly. So that's adjustable, I didn't set it yet. So I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. I'm not gonna change the angles and such. Just make it faster. And bingo, it's closed. Usually we make these electric strikes. So once the door automatically closed, it locks itself. But he, don't, he doesn't like that thing, I don't know why. So he asked us to put a regular door lock system. And the problem is, look at that, it's a four inch thick door. I know the plates are back set, and you see one of them is a little bit forward, the other one is a little farther in. And same thing on the back side but no any lock what you can buy fits so basically what we do in this case we buy two lock sets and we make everything longer so they reach and you can install it on the wider doors and the other challenge if you look at it this plate uh, this one, it's a little bit farther out, the other one farther in. On the other side, it's the opposite. And on below, again, farther in, and it's out. So you have to modify pretty much everything. Now. Uh, we started this video 
and the installation of the strips. That's the weather stripping. And it's bolted with the 832s. And also serves as a doorstop. Since it's a pivot door, the other one, it's on the opposite side. It's over here. So when the door closes, bingo. Now, there is gonna be one on the top, one on the bottom, that's a different style. And we're gonna show you how, in, how, do, how do we install that when we deliver the door and we're gonna start the installation. So delivery usually, it consumes the day. You set up everything for the next day because he's living in this house. <coughs> so we have to remove the existing door, the door frame, door jam, everything. Then we have to reinstall this whole thing. So we're gonna install the door jam. We fabricated also out of aluminum. These two pieces, I mean, like six tall or whatever. And the tolerance, look at that. See this tolerance. It's no joke. Oh, over here you can see I have to go around. Let me go around. So you got 3 sixteenth of an inch. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm freaking cigarettes. I have to quit. Some technical data. Height 95 inches. Width 72 inches. Overall weight about 1,800 pounds. Frame core 2x4, 0.25 inch thick, 60 series anodized aluminum frame, panels 2 tone anodized aluminum plates, 3 16 thickness 50 series double sided, sealed and laser welded inside, no visible weld beads all concealed. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week with the loading and delivery and installation.